Hi everyone, this is Opulent Spiritual. This is for the 21st to the 31st, so technically a weekly reading, but it's a general message for all my earth signs. Okay, so we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That's the way I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it as a collective at the end, and I'm going to pull some charms. So enjoy this reading, and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, okay? Let's see what's going on for my people, for my earth signs. Also, if you want to book a private reading with me, the, the details are in the description box below. at the end all right so we got virgo first ooh, ooh. Capricorn. Make sure you check your uh, rising and moon sign as well. Sorry about that. Anything else? Okay. All right. Good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's start with Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you guys. 21st to the 31st. We got Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So you might have been going through a difficult situation for maybe a couple months. And now the most difficult part of it is over. So definitely this week, that's going to be really great going into April. You got Lake stepping into a new experience. So that's really cool. You have some kind of um, new experience you're going to be stepping into. This could be a job, a relationship, uh, just an aspect of yourself which is really cool. You got broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. So some kind of wish that you've been wanting, it's just, it's not going to be granted. You got skull, so more bones. Be careful of, um, you have leg too, so, you know, be careful of how you step, you know, because um, uh, you might get, you know, your leg broken or something like that, or you got a lot of bones here, so just be careful of accidents and falling. All right, you have, uh, especially during the 21st to the 31st. All right, you got skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. So um, just be careful that October. So something that these things might happen in October, or you're going to hear something about October is significant to you. Maybe this new experience. You got wreath. Sorrow over loss. So definitely some kind of... This uh, difficult situation 
it, it might bring you some sorrow over a lot. There's some kind of loss that you can even be going to a funeral or something like that, which my condolences. I know that's hard, but I feel like this is something with like a funeral. All right. And you got tortoise. So slowly but surely getting ahead. So that's really positive, but it's slow. And uh, sh slowly but surely getting ahead. All right, so let's pull some charms for Virgo. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely, it's definitely a slow moving process that you're going through. It's a spiritual path that you're on right now. And it's just about growing and it's about you finding out what you need to do to break patterns and karmatic uh, cycles. Yeah, you definitely were in a relationship with somebody, and this was a soulmate, twin flame situation that you probably had to break, some kind of break with this. Yeah, you're definitely um, feeling very alone at this time, and feeling like you can't talk, you can't speak, your mind, and feeling just like trapped, trapped in your own mind, you know what I mean? And yeah, you definitely had some kind of love situation going on here. And if this is a family member that is passing, it, you know, you have a lot of love for them and it's going to be very hard, you know what I mean? But slowly but surely getting ahead, you know what I mean? So that's what I got for that for you guys. Moving on to Taurus. So Taurus, 21st to the 31st, we have candle. You will be shown the way. So some kind of, you're going to be shown the way, especially during that week. You got boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So that's really positive. Awesome. You got bird flying. News is on the way. So maybe it's about this uh, money situation, this inheritance, winning. You know, maybe that, that's, that's awesome. Maybe you're going to win something get an inheritance or something you got hills obstacles to overcome so there's some, definitely some kind of obstacles to overcome especially during this week you got the moon changes in your life so maybe this financial abundance is going to bring some kind of um change in your life or maybe bring in new people because you're yeah you're being shown the way of something pig Beware of greed. So yeah, don't be greedy. You know, remember who you are. You know, remember the human part. And uh, don't be um, selfish or mean to anybody around you that's trying to help you. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Yeah, that, I could definitely see you guys climbing towards success. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Yeah, so you might be, um, with this abundance, it might be getting you out of a situation that was really draining you and um putting a damper on your life and you have flowers happiness yes yeah, so i feel like you are going into happiness especially um this week going into april and so on all right yeah i see you guys climbing climbing to the top definitely being more abundant Yeah, just remember that you are, um, you are, your, your thoughts are very uh, strong at this time, like your manifestation. So your, the way that you speak, be, talk, hold on, speak to others the way that you want to be spoken to. So that comes along with the greed and the ego part. So just be aware of that. Okay. Because you could lose people in the process. The way, you know, words are very strong. Um, something with the harvest time, maybe even November, October, November, something like that is going to be significant to you. Oh, October right here. Cause this is a collective as well. Something with October. All right. Um, you definitely have a lot of love right now within yourself. You love yourself. Um, just be careful. Um, of, like I said, being too greedy cause you did have the greed over here. So. It's good to have a lot of love for yourself, but make sure it's not being vain. You know what I mean? You could be traveling overseas. You're just about like on top of the world right now. Just 
like a like amazing time like you're just having the grand old time and you could be wanting to have children or thinking about having children this week um trying to make plans but there's definitely some kind of child maybe this is about feeding your inner child like getting what you always wanted as well some kind of child and you're going to be pulled in a lot of different directions this week so just be aware of that make sure you get enough sleep make sure you're taking care of yourself all right so that was taurus and now we're going into capricorn capricorn 21st to the 31st we got wall misunderstanding so just be aware there's going to be some kind of misunderstanding this week so just don't don't try to look into it too hard because there's going to be some kind of misunderstanding either you causing that or somebody else causing that around you vase secret admirer Ooh, you got a secret admirer capricorn you got vine seek out information that will help you okay so maybe that has to do with the misunderstanding uh just yeah seek out information that's going to help you you got the quill get back to basics yeah because um i feel like that's what you're doing though i feel like you're really defining yourself like um you're kind of like a you're going through that transition that you're like a, a a diamond right but like the rough diamond that you find in the dirt and now you're going to start getting back to basics like really knowing who you are you're cleaning yourself up that you're going to become that actual diamond like all nice and beautiful and shiny and cut all certain ways and you know that kind of stuff heart love deep affection and caring Ooh, maybe it's that secret admirer maybe this is love for yourself but this is very nice very positive love that peacock beware of great pride yeah so just be aware of that you know you could be feeling yourself a lot going into you're gonna have a lot of abundance and you could just be you know just be aware of that you know what i mean you got a victory coming in victory and some endeavor Ooh, you could be getting a promotion getting money coming in some kind of victory in your life you got fox here shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business yeah so you you're watching your your steps especially at work there could be you you know what's going on you're already 10 steps ahead and um this is just saying just reminding you you know to be resourceful and shrewd at times you know what i mean because you know who you are you know who you're speaking to you know who to not speak to at work you know what i mean or in your family or whatever you you, you know what to do and yoke um, feeling tied down or frustrated. Yeah, so there might be some kind of aspect this week that you feel tied down to or frustrated in a situation, but you'll overcome it and you'll be all right. All right? Positive, positive, positive. Have positive thoughts. Okay. Strong is beautiful. Yeah, so I feel like because you are being really strong, this like that peacock energy, like you're being so big and beautiful, so very nice yeah something with the winter time i keep seeing winter like the winter time is going to be very significant for you very strong all right yeah you got the phoenix here so you're definitely rising above the ashes like you're being rebirth uh that's probably why this basics card came back i mean came out because you're going back to basics you're really finding out who you are and it's going to allow you to be victorious all right and we got a little dog here, so you could have a little dog or wanting to get a dog. Some kind of dog in your life. Some kind of pet. You're going to be thinking about a lot this week. You got the whale. Taurus had the whale too, so beware of uh, being greedy. You know, you're going to get a lot of things this week and it's going to make you get like a big head. Just beware of how you talk to people. Um because words mean a lot so just just be aware of that you know what i mean because you could burn bridges if you're not careful you got the horse Th this is a message coming in this is very fast fire um you could have fire in your chart or dealing with a fire sign as well that's a uh, leo sagittarius aries and you're going into fire season as well so you're definitely gonna get messages with that you got the holy key so this is definitely about healing and um finding wholeness in yourself and just um healing healing yourself you know what i mean healing you probably went through a lot and now you're going into a time of self-healing self-love you're being protected by spirit so that's amazing 
being balanced. Yeah, and you're definitely part of some kind of spiritual thing. You're, you have some kind of ancestral roots in that. You could be a witch, you know, um, like any of those things, like very spiritual. You could be like a Wiccan person or just into all these spiritual things. You know, you could be a tarot reader or a psychic or, you know, a gypsy or whatever. You know what I mean? Like you're just really into that stuff, very strong in the spiritual realm. And you have the manifestation key here, the infinity symbol right above the magician, you know. So you're definitely manifesting this and it's working in your favor. You're, you're being divinely guided. So as a collective, we have be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think. Feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. Yeah, so don't ass don't assume anything, uh, especially with the whales coming out and all that. That Be careful the way that you speak to people, especially during this week. All right, that's just confirming it. You got a little dog here. Eliminate gossip. Yeah. So we have making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make our make others wrong. Yeah. So just like I said, be careful the way you speak to people, especially this week, because there's going to be some situations that arise that um, you could be wrong in. All right. So just be aware of people's feelings. And don't be don't be too arrogant or rough. Let your life be transformed. Yeah, you're definitely going through a transi transition. All right, because look, you got the caterpillar, the cocoon, and I couldn't think of this. I was like, what what is this? <laughs> um, and the butterfly. Okay, so it's going through phases phases and transitions. So when you stop making assumptions, th this is all about like being like too, like just don't assume things pretty much because th all these cards are saying stop assuming. <laughs> so then stop, stop assuming this week. Like don't, when someone's talking to you, just give them the benefit of the doubt. I know that's hard. You don't have to trust them, but just try to give them the benefit of the doubt. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable. And your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. Yeah, and that also has to do with the infinity key as well. Because as a collective, if I look at all this, it's telling me that you are being successful. It's just a slow moving success. You are cutting ties with people. You are leaving the past behind. You're leaving what no longer serves you. There's going to be some kind of... Um, all these changes you're really going to see during the winter months. So... October to December as a collective and I just see just beware of greed especially during that week and going into the months because you are going to get abundance you are going to have a victory of some kind and you could be even getting promoted and experiencing a loss of some kind either death of a family member or something or death to yourself in the old ways all right so that was that was it for you guys. I hope you enjoy your week and I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Alright, support me. I really appreciate you guys and you know I have much love for you guys. Alright, love and light.